I'm a marketing rebel, marketing rebel. Hey, have you ever wondered why entrepreneurs get in their own way? They slam on the brakes before they even get started. So Rudyard Kipling, the author of The Jungle Book, famously said, if you don't get what you want, it's a sign either that you did not seriously want it or that you tried to bargain over the price. Well, as entrepreneurs, you hit the brakes for two reasons, either because we didn't want to put in the effort or we were worried about the cost of our lives. And I want to add another idea to this. And we often hit the brakes because we lose direction. So starting from the top, we often hit the brakes because we don't want to put serious effort into our goals. And if you don't put the effort in, it's because you may not want it. So it's easy to have ideas, but it's much harder to really work on those ideas. So turning an idea into something tangible is hard work and often worthwhile, but people share great ideas all the time, but want you to do the work for them. So it often stops an idea. So this is why I ask people to do the work on their ideas before I invest any of my time or resources into them. I often never hear back from them when I ask them to do it. It's hard work to turn an idea into a profitable business. And if I hear back from them, I invest more time because they got things rolling. They put in the work. So remember, having an idea is great, but everyone has ideas. Keeping an idea alive is about putting in the work to succeed. So it's distractions, they're another idea killer. People get easily distracted by other things in life. It happens way too frequently. Even I have fallen into the trap. We get a great idea and as we begin to dig deeper, we realize the risk involved. Our instinct is to stay inside the comfort bubble, right? Instead of addressing the risk. It makes it easy to get distracted and return to a nine to five job because it's what you know. Distractions are everywhere from family troubles to social pressure, even blowing a tire on the highway is a distraction, right? So these are put in your way to help you remain average but you can plow right over them and determine your own success. But when you get distracted, just remember that someone else is working to turn a similar idea that you have into a million dollar business. So life can get in the way of turning ideas into reality. So you have to find the time to make it happen. For me, this meant firing all of our high, pay, high paying agency clients and putting everything into this media company that we've built without a safety net. I couldn't turn back, couldn't continue doing what I was, what was considerably you know less risky because i've been doing it for years it worked it paid the bills it created a great lifestyle but it wasn't where we wanted to go so kipling said it if we don't go towards our goals it is because we are worried about the cost or the price that we'll pay now i always think of this as the risk associated with trying something new maybe we're afraid of making a mistake or failing at a new venture maybe we're worried that we'll lose everything and be left really at square one. No one really wants that, but sometimes that's gonna happen. These are all valid fears, but they can't set you back. Many people will dip a foot into an idea or project while having the other securely on the shore and ready to pull back at the slightest sign of a challenge. The fact is, a challenge is going to come up. You're going to make mistakes. It's inevitable, it will happen. But from those mistakes, you learn and develop your ideas. And by only putting in half the effort, you're guaranteed to fail because you don't gain the momentum you need, momentum you need to move forward and develop your idea really into a reality, right? So you need to fully immerse yourself into getting an idea off the ground so that even when mistakes are made, you won't fail. You put everything towards your goals. Gotta do it. Lastly, here's what I think. I think people hit the brakes because they lose direction or they don't have an end goal in mind. This happened in 2018 when I overcomplicated my, my idea, but it can and does happen to everyone. So you can easily lose your direction if you don't have a clear cut des destination in mind. It often happens when you focus on all the choices instead of just making a choice. And one of the things I see entrepreneurs trying to find is the perfect idea or the perfect option. But while they're looking, they're letting go of perfectly good opportunities and they just never get started. They're looking for the ultimate kind of money maker and in that search end up passing by great opportunities. They often end up never actually picking a direction to get started, which means if you don't start, you don't succeed. So another way to overcomplicating uh, the process is trying to start everything at once, do it all at once, right? This is not easy to see when people try to market across all social media platforms at once. They don't take the time to focus on just one area and develop that. In both cases, the direction was lost. Instead, we're left wandering around and hoping for the best. Now, my recommendation is to focus on your idea, have success in one thing before you try to have success at everything. So make a choice and go for it. And you can count on this. I'm here rooting for you to succeed. 
Hey, if you gain value from this video, do me a favor. I need you to do three things right now because our what we want to do is spread the word. I want you to like, comment, and share this video with somebody that you think would gain value from it. Thank you, I appreciate it.